Me and Bentley decided to go for a walk. When I left earlier today, I went a different direction and I found this campground or this campsite. Come on, Benny. You okay, Benny? I found this uh, campsite around the corner and down the way a little bit and they have a really cool setup they have a hammock out there they have the exact the exact same camper that i have as well and um yeah so i want to go check it out nobody was there no cars so i want to just walk by this time and uh see if any cars are there maybe they stay out there during the weekend or whatnot and uh try and talk to these people i'd love to uh see their setup and talk to some like like-minded people There it is. Doesn't look like anybody's there though. But look at that. It's the same A-frame camper. Isn't that so cool? They got a porta potty. I was looking at doing the same thing. They got a hammock back there. Picnic bench. pretty cool. Hopefully one day, come on this way Bentley. Hopefully one day I'll catch them out there so I can chit chat with them and see what they got going on. So this is this is Chris. I just met him. Hey. He he, he lives right down the street from me and I saw he has this really awesome setup here with his camper with the same exact camper as I do. <laughs> so I came over and met him and he's going to show us his place and uh his solar setup and everything. So yeah, how you got this? You got 250 watts up here, you said? Right, right. I got 250 watts of solar, uh 2500 uh 2500 uh inverter. Inverter. Uh-huh. Uh 3 uh, hundred amp uh, battle born battle born batteries. Okay. Uh, lithium. So three hundred all together. Three hundred. And you did power. this setup in Arizona, right? Right, right. There's uh, another guy that I watch. He's from Arizona, and he has a little uh, cabin out there in the Arizona desert. His name is Greenhorn One Acre. Um, so, but yeah, he has his whole little setup. But I don't think he has his as big as yours, though. Yours is a little more. A little more expansive and, and very cool from what you showed me so far. So yeah. um, you were saying well, this one goes to this this one. It's kind of, I kind of have a color code. This one I can plug into a generator and charge the batteries. So it comes directly straight from the solar panel, right? You can plug right. that right into the panel and then unplug it and go for the generator. For the generator and it charges my batteries underneath my bed. Okay. And then the white one was the white for one is if I'm at a friend's house and I don't want to use my inverter or anything. Uh huh. Just, it's like using an extension shore power. Cord. Okay. Shore power. Yep. This one is if I want to just use uh, my solar power that's already generated. So you, and that so. just hooks directly into the panel itself, and all these. Well, or... it, it plugs into a, this extension cord. Okay. Which, which means that I don't have to have my doors open. And. Uh, Kind of an extension of so basically i plug it in i turn on the i turn on the inverter and i've got so now you've got this power is running to everything out here in your camp. yeah i've got lights uh i've got uh, a couple outlets so you have so yeah i've seen over here you got the outlets yeah let's go check this out so right here is one of yours. So now, okay, yeah, I see the green light on. So this is powering everything out here. Correct. So you were living in this before you got this whole setup yeah. out in Arizona. Right. Okay, wow. All right. Yeah, so uh, this is kind of like my freezer because I, I just have a refrigerator. So I, I needed to conserve space. Uh huh. And I I said, well, and I looked online and this, this is a refrigerator. Yeah, Dometic. I know out. that's a really good yeah. brand. You pull out, and it's a uh, it's a refrigerator. It, it's basically one drawer for a refrigerator. I've, yeah. Usually, I have like water in my. And this my is sink. twelve volt, right? Yeah, twelve volt. Okay. Everybody. So now you're running the the uh, microwave there. Correct. And uh, off the batteries, no generator. Okay. It's pulling six hundred and thirty-eight watts right now. 
Wow, okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is your setup yeah. here. You just have all your yeah, uh, shelving stuff. Yeah, and... my shelving, I got my water. So this uh, is kind of like how you get your fresh water here yeah, to drink, water, yeah. not for no. anything else. This is just a drink. Now, where do you uh, keep your other water for showering and stuff like that? Um, uh, I just switch them out. If I need uh, drinking water, I just switch them out. I usually okay. Get, usually get five gallons over at Walmart. Mm -hmm. and, and you keep all these full all the, at all times, yeah, or you just go and much. fill them all up at once, or just kind of take one I when take it's done? I take one uh, if I'm. I take one. Usually, I fill them out all at once. Right. If I'm getting low, if I got one five gallon left, then I'll probably. And then that's what you use over here for your sink and whatnot. Yeah. I've got my uh, my regular water, my non-drinking water. I, mm -hmm. I fill up with, and I put it in here. Yeah. Put a little bleach in there so it doesn't get any algae. Yeah, I've noticed that mine's starting to do that too. So that's a good idea. Out. Little tablets. Little tablets. Okay. In. Is this where you shower as well? Uh, when I do, or yeah. like cool off. Uh -huh. I do. Uh, di full disclosure. <laughs> I got a. I got a. Um, a uh, pass over at uh, Planet Fitness. Oh, okay. Yes, a so, lot of people uh, do that. Every, you know, it's thirty dollars for. You can go anywhere go with anywhere that. In the country. Okay. So Very I, cool. When I really need a shower, which is. Most most of the time, daily. <laughs> yes. I go there, and, and if I've got time, I'll uh, maybe get do some exercise. Yes. Just uh, my clothes line. Oh, that's what I need. I just go to laundromat, but yeah. you know, it's nice to have that for sure. And then you have all your firewood here firewood, set up. Yeah. You just getting it from here off the property. Correct. Very so cool. Far, and do you cook pit? here on your fire pit at all, or? I usually, if I have to, but. On special occasion, if we're having, having a little get together, little get -together whatever, thing. yeah. But I do have a grill. Uh, got my own grill. So this is where all the magic happens. Yeah, this is where uh, Julia Child, Julia Child comes out and cooks for me. Oh, there you go. You got a nice little setup here. All right. Yeah. Very good. Yes. That comes in I've handy. Got, you know, gas. They. I got a refrigerator in the camper uh -huh. that runs the refrigerator if I need it. Right. But most of the time, I'm just using the refrigerator that's on solar. Okay. So the orange one is the drinking water. Yeah, and this is the... Um, cooking water and stuff like that. This is where I wash my hands. Now, here I am thinking I found a really awesome pop-up camper with my A-frame. And here, here it comes that my neighbor has one just yeah. like it. So I'm not that special, I guess. But um, you want to show us the sure. inside of your place? Yeah, yeah. Yours is a little bit bigger than mine. This is a 2014 uh, Rockwood Premier uh, uh, A22. Oh, wow. Uh, you have... Yeah, okay. Help yourself. Nice. This, this came down. This is usually a bed. You can make yeah, I don't have this. Bentley, get down. Oh, yeah, this Brett. No worries. Um, yeah, I don't have that. Yours is way bigger than mine. Mine is, I think, 12 foot. And then mine has the full size on this side. It has that leaking I, window. I like the windows. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I mean. love it. I, yeah. I like the windows where you, uh, I just, I saw it and I said, I, could, I'd never seen a camper like this before. i just love the a-frame that is yeah. my thing i yeah. love the nice a-frame styles mm -hmm. and okay mine has this in it too but it doesn't have um oh wow yours is a lot bigger well you'll have to come over oh. and see mine yeah sure oh you got a three, three burner. burner okay i've got a small little two burner so it's about you know half of that size and twisted the other direction cool. and you have a nice corner yep. sink i have a small sink. little sink but yep. this one's nicer um oh, yeah. all right chris well thank you so much for showing me your place so my phone ran out of storage and I did not get to finish that interview, but I am super excited to have uh, find that I have a neighbor out here who is living the same type of lifestyle as me. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you don't mind, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.